Well, this is the time to look up as I spoke to the disciples, says your Lord. When I declared to them that there would be signs in the earth, earthquakes and wars, the oceans and the seas would roar. There would be perplexity among the nations. And there would be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars, I said. But then I said, look up, look up, look up, look up. For your redemption draweth nigh. I speak this to you who are in fear and troubled about. I say, look up to me, for I am the one who created the sun. I am the one who created the moon. And I am the one that spread out the stars. And I have a redemptive plan. So I ask you a question this day. As you enter into next week and thereafter. What is your trust in? And who do you trust? But you say, Lord, but do you not understand that there is chaos? There is disruptions and things planned by forces of darkness in the hands of men. But I remind you, says the Lord, when there was judgment upon the earth in the days of Noah, and yet there was an ark floating upon the waters of turmoil, and there was destruction all around in the earth, yet it was my hand upon Noah, his family, and upon the ark. I remind you, who weathered the storm when the disciples were out in the midst of the sea and they thought they were dying. Yet I came walking upon the sea. I entered into the boat and I brought preservation and I accelerated them to the place that I had called them to. I speak this because this is redemption. This is my spirit that speaks to you in this hour. Who navigated Israel when they were entrapped upon the shore. It was I that brought deliverance. It was I that brought preservation. And so I say to you, there will be chaos in places, disruptions, and things that will cause some to say, see, this is the judgment of God, America, you are finished. And you will not just see it, but you will see this in days that are ahead. And they will seek to stop the liberty that I will bring to this country to set you free. But I speak and I remind you that preservation will prevail. Redemptive intervention will prevail and will preserve you. So do not be moved by things that will manifest by the hands of men and those who cooperate with forces of darkness. But the more you pray and exercise your delegated legislative rights of my governing power, the hand of the enemy will be restrained and stopped, says the Lord. Do not be moved by Iran, for they will raise their head. But they will be cut down and the headship of their land shall be cut off and China you shall breathe upon the earth disruption but for a season short it shall be I will disrupt you 
and I will cause things to be greatly shaken. Pay attention. I speak even of the soil of Asia. That will be a sign of what shall come as the powers of the heavens will be greatly shaken. That my plan for this time to redeem, to show redemption of help and hope for many will turn to me in this time and they will be awakened to truth and I will rescue the children but I will rescue the nations of the earth for I am the king of glory and it is my time to come in now so open the gates and watch what I do to bring preservation in a time of darkness says the living God come on lift up your hands with me and just begin to pray <laughs> 